Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, James Lost. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make Ultimate Vault Hunter mode easy. The first thing you want to do is go to Settings, Video, and change the field of view because what they have you set out on the Switch is not playable. That is assuming you can load the game because for me it crashes when I get to the title screen, hence why I'm on the Xbox. But now, with the new update, both the games are the same now. Now, assuming your gameplay looks like mine and you keep dying, uh, you're going to want to follow these steps to get some of the best gear to help you flow through the game a lot easier and not die as much. Go ahead and backtrack through wind shear waste and go to Claptrap's place and hit the fast travel. Go ahead and head to the unassuming docks and just keep going, follow the story, and you'll get to Flame Rock Refuge, which is where you want to be. Once again, just follow the story and go to the forest. Bodyguard isn't here. Oh, look. Forgot to put a piece down the board. Blam! Girl, looks like she got a problem. I punch a problem. You gotta prove your bad attitude. Pass me. First pass. If you stand on this box, you can blow up both of the blimps. Just stand there and punch him very easily. While in the forest, you're going to want to hunt tree ants because they can drop the bee shield. If you do not know what the B shield is, it's a shield that has amp damage. And this shield does not have a penalty, so you can just shoot unlimited amp damage. I like farming the tree ants that drop the blood fruit because it's a lot easier to go farm them. All you gotta do is go to the immortal woods and then go back. And when you save and quit after farming them, you will respawn at that door. And don't get stuck on the fairies, they're very annoying. Just keep going until you get to the Mines of Avarice, and just follow the story until you meet Claptrap. Now accept this mission, the beard makes the man, and you'll receive the Grog Nozzle as a mission item. Now, once you have this item, do not complete the mission, because once you turn it in, you will lose the Grog Nozzle. And if you don't know, the Grog Nozzle has the highest healing of Moxie weapons, which what's makes this gun very overpowered. So now we're going to talk about abusing the health gate mechanic, because it's kind of dumb. So what you do is, if you take a shot where it takes away most of your health, and you start flashing red, that's called health gate. You can take a few more, like a couple seconds of damage afterwards and not go down. And this is where the Grog Nozzle comes in. So, with the Unkempt Herald, if you shoot that, 
and then switch to the Grog Nozzle, you will heal from the Herald shot, because you're holding the Grog Nozzle. And that's how you abuse health gain. If you put your Herald in the first slot and your Grog in the second slot, using the D-pad up and down, you can swap them between them, which makes it a lot easier to abuse health gain. And with that, you should be able to survive a lot longer without going down as much and dying, because Borderlands 2 late game is very brutal because it does not forgive. Like, ultimate mode, and one enemy shoots you, you're in health game. And you need that grog. You don't really need the B shield as much, but unless you're playing, like, Salvador, you're gonna, you're just gonna need it, so. Yeah. Anyways, this has been James' the last one. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm gonna sell out now. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. Because it helps me out. Click the like and maybe that. I don't worry about the bell. The bell kind of sucks. So, yeah. See you guys later.